Hello, my name is Michael Knutson. I am part of Zone 1, uh, the Home Depot team in Zone 1. We are the Counting Devantes. Go Devantes. Uh, and I'm here making this video to dispel the dangerous uh, myth that counting your backs as you go down an aisle is any better than hitting an end cap and rolling right. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna do nine just because it is relatively uniform. Just a little short here. We've got eight feet. And that's from there to there. That is one bay. As you can see, the aisle across is roughly eight feet, a little under, and yes, the bays are a little over, but just for the sake of math, I'm gonna do it at eight feet. So what I'm doing here is counting the bays, and there are 10 on each side of the aisle. So, um, and, and most of the aisles at Home Depot are pretty typically this or, uh, you know, pretty close to it with a few exceptions. So if you walk down one side of the aisle and up the other or up one side, down the other, however you prefer, that's 80 feet per. Anyways, uh, so that's a total of 160 feet walking up and down the aisle on one side. So with the getting your back method, if you hit the end cap, you start here, count that bay, that's eight feet of space. Once you're done, you would cross the aisle for eight feet to get to the next ticket or your back. Then as you count that, you're moving eight feet towards the beginning of the aisle again, which would then have you walking eight feet diagonally um, because of Pythagoras and his theorem. Uh, to get to the second ticket on the other side of the aisle, doing a huge loop-de-loop, -loop, uh, wildly inefficient loop-de-loop -loop of 32 feet. So I'll try to sum this up briefly, but in conclusion, uh, the, the numbers are in, and this is what they tell us, that hitting an end cap, rolling right, you've got 80 feet one way. So if we're talking one aisle, that's 160 feet. If we're talking... Um, hitting your backs, that's 32 feet per the area that's 16 feet the other way. That's double the amount of, of space you have to cover. Um, plus it opens you up for missing tickets because not all aisles have precisely uniform bays with one right behind the other. Um, if, or, or what, what, one other big thing is that it saves a lot of downtime with uh, trying to find an area to count. You don't have to ask anybody if there are open tickets. Um, if you see an end cap and it's done, you know that half of the aisle to the right of it is, is, is accounted for. And you don't even have, you can just skip those and go find an end cap. And then you'll know that you can count that. Um, if we're closing a department, uh, you know, it's down to the wire or whatever it might be, yeah, flood the aisle, communicate, get those tickets counted. But there is, to my estimation, no no uh, merit to any argument that says counting your backs is, is better. It's just flat out not. I, If you have other anything else, uh, I would be happy to hear it. But uh, this concludes my message. Thank you. Okay, then I pull up with no knife, cause I bring guns to fight.